Hi, you two. We're told that one person was possibly killed, that suspect that they believe may be involved in this robbery, but also a tattoo shop owner and a customer were both shot and sent to the hospital. It happened here at Native Ways Tattoo Shop early this morning. Police say they believe three suspects approached the shop located on the 18,500 block of Sherman Way around midnight last night and demanded cash and other items from the owner and a customer who were inside at the time. Some type of altercation occurred and at some point spilled outside where several gunshots were fired. At this time, it's not known how many people started shooting, but about a dozen bullet casings could be seen on the ground. We don't know if the owner or customers fired at the alleged robbers. We are trying to get more information on that. According to the LAPD, the, LAPD, the tattoo shop owner, a man in his 50s, and the customer, a man in his 30s, were both struck by gunfire and taken to a hospital in stable condition. The suspects then fled the scene eastbound on Sherman Way in two different vehicles, an older model silver or gray Nissan Altima and a white Ford van. Investigators believe one of the suspects may have died as a body was found a short time after the robbery and a few blocks away on the 18,300 block of Satakoy Street. He is said to be a man in his 30s. And investigators, though, they tell me they are still working to confirm that these two incidents are related. At this point, the suspects are outstanding and there isn't a detailed description of them. We spoke with employees at a local business who say they do take precautions because of incidents like this. We have uh, cameras here for uh, security purposes as well because we've had a few crazy stuff happen, so we keep the cameras for safety for everyone. Luckily, we have our parking lot just behind the business, so we try to at least have two of us stay together at all times and not leave alone just for protection for everyone. And this tattoo shop does have cameras at well. This time it's not known if any items or cash were taken from the tattoo parlor. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact the LAPD. Reporting live here in Racine, I'm Erin Myers, KTLA 5 News.